Hello and welcome to this discussion about decision trees. Uh, so we already saw um, an example and how to calculate, how to basically construct a decision tree for that example. Next we want to see how we can actually uh, do some calculations to choose the best decision. So here <coughs> uh, we calculated the rewards at the terminal branches all we have to do next is to uh, multiply basically each each reward by the probability at events forks uh, to get the expected value of that event uh, node so for example for this one down here uh, I'm going to multiply 0.10 which is the probability of national success by 420 k uh, plus 0.90 times 20k that gives me expected value of this event and then i will compare that value with this value so that the node before it is the uh, decision fork um, i'm going to compare that value with this value 120k and whichever is larger i'm going to mark that as my decision okay so let me write that down so for this node I'm going to write 0.10 times 420k plus 0.9 times um, 20k which is going to be <coughs> 42k plus 18k which is 60k so the value of this node is 60k that's the expected value note that we do expected value only for events because those involve probabilities uh, so between 60k and 120k that i had these are uh, values at this decision fork at the end of each uh, branch of the decision fork among these two this one is larger so i'm going to mark that as my decision so i'm moving backward right so the value of this decision is going to be the largest which is 120k and let's move up to this branch to this event so the value of that event is going to be 0 0.85 times 120k plus 0.15 times uh, 20k which is uh, 360k so 360 now I'm choosing between 360 and 120 of course this one is larger I'm gonna mark that so the value of this node became 300 and 60k because I picked the largest value that large value is moved to this uh, a square now for this one for this event I have two values at the end of each branch and I have probabilities now I can calculate the value the expected value is 0.40 times 120k plus 0.60 times um, 360k is 264k 264k um, all right I need to I need to do the same thing here for this note uh, which will be 0 0.55 times 450 plus 0.45 times 50k And that is two hundred and seventy K. So the node before that is a decision fork. So I have to choose between these two values and I have both 270, 150. This one is larger, I'm gonna mark that. So uh, this will be 270. The node before that is again 
uh, decision for can I have the values at the end of each branch so I choose the uh, largest value which is here so by looking at the branches that I have marked I know which decision is the best for me is the most optimal uh, the optimal uh, so it says basically don't do the test method or don't do the test marketing uh, don't uh, go through the sampling basically this branch is called sampling uh, sample information don't do the test market the local marketing and uh, do the marketing nationally Be based on all of these probabilities and all of these calculations that I did this one uh, gives you the highest value highest expected value so we call this method the backward method and you just learned how it works and we would say the value of the the expected value of the decision tree is also because we picked this value we move that back 270k um, here we assume that we are risk neutral next we want to see what happens if this company also has a utility function 